Hello athletes, Travis back with another little training vlog. I want to say it's been about a week, I think, since my last, my first entry here. Um, that week has been really just about conditioning, keeping up with my strain training. So I've got two days under the bar since last we chatted. Uh, probably two or three day, two or three more days on the erg. Not as many as I would like, but um, it's also been unseasonably hot here lately, so or warm, I can't say hot. So I've really been taking advantage and trying to get as much extra trail time as I can before it's just too cold for that. Um, plus it's good to take my pup out for some miles because he's got a lot of energy. But, uh, but yeah, so conditioning moving along. Still don't feel like my legs are, you know, anywhere close to kind of where, you know, they're comfortable taking strokes um, and kind of matching my fitness with my uh, muscular aptitude um, for that rowing stroke. But today was really just supposed to be more conditioning. Another 20 minutes of just kind of rowing it out, getting the legs used to it. But I just really, I really felt like uh, doing something a little harder, kind of getting into some sprint training. In past years, I would have kind of played it safe and been like, no, you know, I'll kind of wait, I'll wait it out. But, you know, as those who are older like me can attest, you know, life really gets in the way a lot of times with training and the best laid plans kind of go to waste sometimes. So I was just like, you know what? I feel like take, doing some work, some faster work, so I'll do it. Um, so that's what I did. Didn't even plan on recording. So I only got the last three uh, intervals. I did four by one minute at my two minute race pace or what would be projected as my two minute race pace. So I was guessing that was probably in the kind of one 134 range, maybe plus or minus one. And since this was my first kind of sprint type of work, um, I would call this uh, speed endurance for the workout type. Um, but uh, my conditioning wasn't totally complete. So I, my goal was 35 stroke rate, 135 split. Uh, my drag, I just kept around 119, 118, which is usually my 2K drag. Um, definitely not my sprinting drag. My sprinting drag is usually, well, it depends on the distance, but for one minute, it was about 160. Um, I'm not sure what I'll end up doing for the 500 meters um, because 500 meters is a lot more endurance component, even though it's only gonna be about 20 seconds longer than the, uh, the one minute piece. But that was the plan. Uh, you'll kind of see the, I'll edit the, the intervals in here, or the last three of them at least. First one, I hit right on target. Uh, I actually felt like I was going slow, but I hit on target. So it was 35, 36 stroke rate at 135.0 uh, exactly. And then the next three were various points of 133 point something. I think it was like 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and then 0 0.2. And stroke weight is a little high, so it was like 37. Um, so while it was higher than my target, you know, the ratio of speed to stroke rate was on what I would expect it should be if the uh, the stroke rate was going higher. So now for 500 meters, I would expect to be rating kind of like 48.50, probably more like 48, especially on a stationary erg. Um, but really need to be above uh, 46, um, just for kind of the, having a shorter frame at 5'8". Um, I need to take advantage of the cadence a little bit more than someone who might be, you know, 5'10", 5'11", out of lightweight. But lightweight being the next challenge is that, um, you know, usually I found my kind of um, weight, my kind of, you know, static, static weight lately has been around 180. Um, but I also haven't been eating 100% clean. I've been eating like 95%. And I found that 5% really makes all the difference in terms of whether I'm kind of uh, leaning out or, or maintaining. So I just got to cut out all the junk. And uh, that's really hard during kind of the holidays as others can kind of expect. <laughs> But uh, I gotta do it. So if I gotta, if I want to be at a lightweight racing shape for uh, end of January, February, and into March, you know I can't start in January after the kind of holiday festivities. So um, I gotta lean it up. Proud to say I made it through my first Halloween at least with zero, zero candy, no treats, no nothing, eating clean. So I'm a good place. You know, shedding a little bit of pounds, not much, maybe kind of a you know, pound or two or last couple of weeks. So down in the high 170s instead of the low 180s. But, uh, but that's it. Um, hang around, check out those intervals, kind of see. I'm curious, I have been recording this before I actually see them. I did feel, I might've been a little bit hunched, but that's kind of like my rowing style. Um, and uh, it's definitely weird. This is the first time I've done a sprint workout off of slides uh, and on the static. So finding kind of how to approach that uh, compression length 
is going to be important uh, to kind of finally balance the the length of the stroke with the cadence and what I need to do to be effective at the cadence that I, um, I know I'm gonna need for the sprint work. But uh, other than that, sit along, watch. If you have questions, throw them in the comments below. I'll answer them if I can. But uh, this is it. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next log. Bye.